Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions, and this time I'm going to be taking up four, count them, four different champions, six stars to rank three. And I have one that's going to really surprise, I think, a lot of people. And I'll go more into why I chose that one when we uh, get to them. All right. But if you want to take a wild guess, now's the time to go ahead and leave a comment below, pause the video, and see if you can guess one or two or all of the champions that I am taking up in this video. But we're about to reveal it in five, four. Three, two, one. First one up, Misty Knight. So Misty Knight is an interesting character. And I have fought her and lost several times. She is very, very annoying. And depending on what node you're having to deal with in addition to her, she can be a very powerful defender. I've faced her in Battlegrounds, and I didn't like it. I've faced her in Alliance War, and I didn't like it. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to take her up. And I've also played, you know, just a little bit with her, mostly in Arena, of course. And she's actually pretty cool. And the damage that her specials do... It's kind of impressive. So she's also pretty quick in the arena. And that's also a factor for me since I'm always grinding out arena. And if I'm going to take someone up to rank three, I want them to not slow me down. You know, they don't have to be the fastest killer, you know, because I also rank up defenders. But I don't want them to really slow me down. She's not going to slow me down in the arena. And she's a good defender. So she's got good attack and good defense. So I'll probably put her into my um, Battlegrounds deck. Now, this particular uh, Misty Knight isn't awakened. I'll get her awakened eventually. I don't know how useful or essential her, um, her awakened ability is. But leave a comment. If you know more about her at this point in time, I only know what I know fighting her and using her a little bit in Alliance. Uh, sorry, in um, Arena. All right. So that's kind of the logic that I was using uh, when I chose to take her up. Now, the second rank up is going to be Black Cat. Now, I kept hearing so many things about Black Cat. And I watched some videos. And she's crazy. As a bleeder, she is crazy. Now, will she take the place of Nick Fury in my heart? No. Nick Fury not only has the nasty bleeds, but he's got that double life, which gives him a nice little safety cushion. And I like that. But I can't deny the damage that I saw in Black Cat. And so I said, you know what? Let me take her up, uh, uh, you know, to at least rank three. So I'm ready to take her to rank four if I so choose, you know, but I don't really know how to use her. I know a little bit about her mechanics, you know, the heavy attacks and swat, um, switching back and forth um, with her, what is it, calling card or something like that. But it, my impression is that she is better for longer fights. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys know her, maybe there's a rotation that she can do for um, shorter fights that make her, you know, very, very fast. But it seems like you have a lot of setting up to do and... Um, the bleeds just keep ramping up. Okay. Had to check something real quick. All right. So Black Cat 
is the second that I decided to take up. And mainly so that I can play around with her a little bit more and, you know, have a little bit more incentive to uh, rank her up. We'll see. We'll see how, uh, how, how it goes, okay? So any tips, tricks, all that good stuff, leave in the comments below about her. I don't know anything really, all right? Now, the third one. The third one is one that I think is not going to surprise too many people. They're going to say, what took you so long? And the third one is Colossus. So I wanted to take up Colossus a long time ago. Colossus is a beast, okay? But in the mutant class, before I could take up Colossus, there were just so many other mutants that I liked better. You know, Apocalypse. All right, had to take Apocalypse up. You know, Kitty Pride. Oh, had to take Kitty Pride up. You know, um, when I got Bishop, had to take him up. You know, um, who was it? Uh, was it Captain Britain? I think I took her up. So there was always other mutants that took priority over poor Colossus. And there were several times that I actually wanted to take Colossus up and use him. And there were times that I wished I had had, you know, had a ranked up Colossus so that I could use him for something. He's got lots of great immunities and he's got good damage. What he doesn't have is good crit rating. His crit rating is low and a lot of things... Um, depend on his crits, okay? Um, you can make that up somewhat with uh, synergies. Uh, he's definitely better with synergies. I remember a long time ago, we tested that out. Um, but he's got great utility since he gets all those armor ups. So he is great for like Havoc. Um, and depending on the node, he's good um, because of those armor ups and his immunities. So he's definitely worthy. I don't think anybody was surprised, uh, that I would take up Colossus because he's worthy of a rank up is it's taken a while. It's taken a while, but I finally did it. Finally took him up to rank three. Okay. Now, last but not least, this is the one that I think is going to surprise a lot of you. It surprised me. Because I made this decision recently, very recently. All right, so the last rank up for the video is Ant Man. How do you like that? Ant Man. Why? Why in the world did I choose Ant Man? Did you guys know he was immune to um, poisons? Yeah, you probably knew that. Um,. I think he's also alert, uh, immune to, what is it, shock, I think. But that's not what got me. Because after his rework, we already know, he's got glancing. So he's a very annoying defender. Um, I had to fight him in uh, Battlegrounds. And he was a nightmare. I, I, I defeated him, but it took a while. He was quite tanky because of all those glancing. Okay? But. I looked over his kit just briefly. Did you guys know he was immune to buffs? I didn't. When we are thinking about like buffet and stuff like that, people mention Red Guardian. They mention Spider-Man 2099. They mention Titania. I don't remember hearing people mention Ant-Man. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take Ant-Man up because it looks like he can be a good defender and a good option if the other ones are not available to take nodes that punish you for having buffs. I didn't know. He's got Power Sting. And, of course, he's a science champion, so you combine him with um, Profe uh, not Professor X, uh, Reed Richards, uh, Mr. Fantastic, and She-Hulk, and he's going to get a ton of power stings as well. So he's actually a really good champion 
to have ranked up there. How often will I use him? I don't know. Will he go into my Battlegrounds deck? Probably. Um, I, I had a nightmare of a time playing him, uh, fighting against him, rather. Um, but anyway, so that's the one that I think was surprising uh, to everyone. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.